Hi everyone, it's Gabriel Cruz from The Crafting Corner, and today I'm bringing you a two minute Tuesday tip tutorial, say that five times fast, on the backlight. That's right, we're gonna be talking about a backlight, and when a light turns on and highlights the back, also known as a hair light or a rim light. And you can see the little highlights on some of my pictures, and it's also in a lot of big Hollywood films like Clockwork Orange or Inglorious Bastards. It's used all over the place. But before we get really more in depth on how a backlight can benefit you, let's take a few pictures without the backlight. This one highlighting both the figure and the background, and then one where I kind of angle the, my key light so it doesn't hit the background and we get a nice dark background. And then we're gonna turn the backlight on. Ooh. And that adds some separation. Now one of the cool things is if you got a, a strong enough backlight even with this little lamp that I'm using on the table, you actually don't need a key light. Instead, you could use something to bounce the light onto your subject. So in my case, I'm just gonna use a napkin. That's right, I'm using a napkin to bounce the light. Now let's take a look at it without the bounce. And now we're gonna come in with the bounce and bounce the light onto the subject to give uh, some more illuminance and have the light wrap around our figure. Take the picture, Gabe. There you go. And look at that, huh? So that's it. That's been a two minute Tuesday tip tutorial. I'd like to see what you guys come up with. And remember to like, subscribe, and hit all the doodads and the blah blah blahs and stuff. And yeah, that's me. Uh, and if you can't afford lights, then find a flashlight. Do something, be creative. Let me know down in the comments below which you think is the best picture and uh, what you guys like. It's all subjective and up to you. And until the next time, I'll see you later. Cheers. You know what, since you stuck around, I'm gonna give you one more tip. And I kind of mentioned this in my last video, that you can take a three ring binder divider from the dollar store, these plastic colored ones, put them between your light, and you can end up having colored lights. It's a cheap way to get gels. Or, if you still got that napkin, you can use the napkin as a diffuser and cut the light down a little bit, but also wrap it around your figure even more. Well, that's it. See you later. Cheers again. Cheers. Bye. <laughs>